<laughs> is this from a fan? Someone's asked this? I always yeah. dream that go up for a corner, pops out, volley, volley. top bins. I did an interview the other day and I said yogurt and then this guy was getting <laughs> on to was, me. That was not, that was, <laughs> that's, that's not <laughs> right. Hey guys. <laughs> Uh, Riley, Cassini and Joe here. Uh, welcome to Subway Social. We've got the questions you asked us and uh, we're going to answer them to the best of our ability. Go, Joe. Go on, Joe. What was the last ticket you bought to anything? Probably would have been a Women's World Cup game. Nice. Which one? Uh, France, Morocco, I believe it mm. was. Was that a, that was yeah, Palmer, at Coopers. Right? Coopers? At yeah. Coopers. Yeah, Coopers, yeah. Very nice. And no one hooked nice. you up with tickets. <laughs> yeah, why did you pay for them? <laughs> I'll go, I'll go next. I think the last ticket I bought to something was um, Wonka. The Wonka. movie. Oh, oh, yeah? No, the movie. The new movie. I've been wanting to actually watch yeah. that. I haven't been uh, I didn't like it at all. Ever. It was no good. No, I didn't like it. It was very musical, like you said. Just uh, people singing all the time. The Oompa Loompas come out and just sing songs and stuff. Mm. Like I didn't enjoy it at all. In Neapolitan ice cream, which flavour do you eat first? Chocolate, vanilla or pink? But I think that's meant to say strawberry. strawberry. <laughs> Yeah, which one did which? Uh, well, I'll answer first. Uh, I stay away from chocolate normally. I don't hate chocolate, but it's not my favourite. I'll go, I'll probably go vanilla. Then I make my way to strawberry. And then if there's anyone else there eating, I'll let them have the chocolate. I'm not touching strawberry. No? Chocolate and vanilla only. Chocolate first for me. Yeah. Yeah. It's interesting. That's, that little slither just gets left and the other two get eaten. <laughs> Do you go like each flavour at a time though? Or I'm quite happy having all three at once. No. Uh, I'll go in between yeah. white and chocolate mm. down the middle like that. A little half half. Yeah. I'll eat it all the way to the, if, well, in the past, uh, eat all the way to the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> eat Last all the night. way to the bottom, yeah. <laughs> and then leave the chocolate. If you were to score a goal, would you prefer top corner or bottom corner? I'll let you guys go first. I think it's an easy answer. Well, yeah, I know top, top corner. Hundred percent. I know, but when I think of scoring a nice goal, you just pass one in, especially past Joe. Okay. Just pass it in. <laughs> like you know, you just yeah. like Tony Cruz. Yes, leave it. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, edge of the box and just yeah. bottom corner. Top corner. That's You'd rather concede dream top of, like, oh, corner save. comes. Save then. Would yeah, you rather yeah, yeah. save well, top corner you, or you, yeah, save yeah, bottom corner? Top. You'd looks rather save top corner. Looks You're diving up than down. Looks way, looks way better on camera. Mm. Yeah. I always yeah. dream that I go up for a corner, pops out, volley, volley. top bins. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Win the game. Fair so the general consensus is top corner. Top, top corner. corner. Yeah, it's more exactly. exciting. Yeah. yeah. Where the I think live. that a save bottom corner and a goal bottom corner takes more skill, but it's not as like well appreciated. Wow yeah. factors not as much. Is yeah. It? Mm. That's what I. Yep. Mean. Yep. Joe, what's it like training with Maddie and Lawrence? Well, <laughs> start picking that out. <laughs> oh, it's really, really good. Uh, it's been a bit of a different, <laughs> a bit different for me. Like Adelaide, I'm the, probably the most do I and the most experienced. So it's nice coming in, having a different, like being the younger one again, um, the least experienced, and just learning off them. It's uh, it's good, different dynamic, working with different keepers, different goalkeeper coach. It's been, it's been really good. Most important thing to pack for Socceroos <clears throat> camp. PlayStation was number one. A lot of downtime. That was number one. Oh, apart from clubs and boots, but mm. they were first, and then the PlayStation. <laughs> <laughs> Chargers. Chargers is a big mm, one. Wall Birds. adapter. Forgot the wall adapter. But wall adapter. Berkies. Yeah. Comfort. When we can wear them. Um, sunscreen. Didn't even bring. Oh, any, didn't bring sunscreen. <laughs> Would be Thank essential. God they've got mm. some though, otherwise I'd be finished. Mm. Chose one out for myself as well. Riley, how's it like assisting a World Cup winning goal? How's it like assisting a World Cup winning goal? Maybe what's it like? So I've assisted a goal at the World Cup and it was brilliant. Um, good feeling. I didn't really have to do much to be honest. Lex kind of did most of the work and made it look like a better pass than maybe what it was. I, my dream, I loved, would love to get an assist. A nice like catch, side volley, mm. put someone through and they run and score. It was just good when a keeper gets one, doesn't it? Mm. Would you rather score or assist three goals in the World Cup winning game? Score. Score. Score? And assist three? I'm a striker. Yeah, true. Do you know what a free truck is? Yeah. Yeah. What's a fruit chop? 
Go on. It's Tell a me little it chocolate ball that has apricot mm -hmm. inside, yeah. and they're only made in South Australia. So I can have oh, a mixture in the middle coated with, coated with chocolate. chocolate. I wouldn't put them in the category of Tim Tams, but they're still Yeah, they're nice. Top. Very good. How do you pronounce oh, here we go. the word that's spelled D-A-N-C-E or C-H-A-N-C-E? Uh, the old chance dance France yeah. or chance dance France. Chance. Chance, yeah. What are the chances? I'd rather yeah, that chance, than chance what? dance France. Yeah. How are you, mate? How are you going? But I would say chance, yeah. Chance. I mix and match it all the time. I know for that's sure because people get on to me all the time. That's about just it. weird. Over where? Because I say... Guns, mate. I say dance a lot. Mm. My mum's British, oh, so I mix story. and match a bit of my words sometimes because I'm around her and my grandma and I hear them speak. They're very British. Mm. Um, so then when I'm in the UK and I'm around people that are British, I just naturally just start Speak speaking British. like them. Uh, I did an interview the other day and I said yogurt and then this guy was getting <laughs> on to was, me. That was not, that was. <laughs> that's, that's not it. Just, no. That it just, was not it. It just, it just flows, it just happens. But I watched you it's think not you were like, yeah, I was thinking in my head, yogurt. like, what do I say here? And then I just said yogurt. You walk into a subway, what are you ordering? Uh, Footlong wheat. Oh. Chicken classic. Spinach. Capsicum. Pay an extra for spinach. Yeah. Avocado. Spinach, capsicum, avocado. A little bit of barbecue sauce. A little bit of chipotle. Salt and pepper. Done. Footlong Italian herbs and cheese. <laughs> Chicken teriyaki, cheddar, toasted, lettuce, tomato, cucumber, capsicum, onion, Thousand Island sauce, honey mustard, mm, salt, the, pepper. The lot. Done. I think it was called Subway Melt back in the days. Yep. Yeah, you remember that one? Yep. Italian herbs and cheese, toasted, I don't know, olives, capsicum, and then I think I used to get tomato, barbecue, and mayo. I've never had anything else. And by the way, whatever Subway we get, they never disappoint. Shout out Subway. <laughs> <laughs> For the group, best player you've played against? I think regardless who we say, Riley's going to outshine us with his answer. <laughs> yeah. But um, uh, yeah. who did I play against? Nani. Did you? When he was at Victory. Uh, well, at the World Cup we played Argentina, so probably... Um, Enzo Fernandez? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, probably, yeah. Obviously probably Messi or Mbappe as well. We played against France. You win. Mm. <laughs> yeah. I'll take it. If you were stranded on a desert island, which current three Socceroos would you want with you to escape? Uh, I'll go another South Australian. I'll go Craig Goodwin. He's the first person that came well, to mind. What are we going to need to do to get off the island? We're going to need build a raft. I think or we're going to need brains, and I think Goody has brains, so I can see where you come from with that. That's I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that selection. You want someone who would keep you positive. You want, you want someone like Bruno Fornaroli, I think. To keep you positive, keep your mind fresh, yeah. you know? He always sees the, the light side of that situation, so I want to say Bruno. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> so who we got? We got Bruno, we've got Goody, and then who could build? Inter need intellectual build ability and stuff like that. But like a bit of craftsmanship. Mm. Someone, someone who builds. Hands. Yeah, someone who build like shelter. Maybe or, Maddie. A raft or Yeah, Matty maybe. Yeah. Good with his skip, hands. Goalkeeper. Skip, lead by example. He could lead us. And uh, he's a pretty intelligent guy. There you go. We've got three. We've got Matty Ryan, Bruno Fawn Rowley, and Craig Good. Let's do, should we just do quick fire? Does everyone really know everyone in Adelaide? Yep. Yeah. 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 You always know someone Next. that knows that person. Yeah. Who's last on the bus? Lewis Miller. Is it's Adelaide's up. coffee scene underrated? For 100%. sure. Yeah. Yeah. Number it's two. It's really good. Apart from Melbourne. What's your coffee order? Almond latte. Oat flat white. Uh, uh, depends. Piccolo. Go to, first thing in the morning. Uh, macchiato. <laughs> <laughs> first Socceroos memory, uh, Harry Kuehl, the handball. I don't remember what game it was. But on the line? Yeah, on the yeah, line. No, that's one of my first recorded. memories. Yeah. yeah. It's not very quick fire yeah. to think about. Nah. Yeah. Just spit uh, something out. I remember I just got a Socceroos top when I would have been like 13 or 14. Can't remember how I got it. Had a bunch of like Millet Yednag, Tim Kale. Where does superstition stepping onto the pitch? Uh, I, uh, I, uh, I've tried to get out of it, but I'm, I have to be the last one to leave the change room if I'm 
in the starting eleven, like the last one in line, last one to leave, last one to go after the warm up. Yeah. 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 I'm always once I, get... I line up, two jumps, and that's it. <clears throat> I normally do that at my club, and I've done it so that's far such since a I've been here. Thing, the yeah. last I've one tried to get out of it. Such a big time, yeah. uh, like but big player. This is, I think, normally. Well, at the World Cup, anyway, Aziz was the one I wanted to be last, so I got bullied to be. So if all there. three of you are starting, there's going to be. That's like probably three, the only thing that I like waiting to be last. I'm trying to get out of that, and I used to hop onto the pitch, and I'm trying to get out of that as well. Maybe that. Yeah. Uh, favourite moment at Adelaide United? Winning the FA Cup. I was there. I was part of that as well. Um, was that your favourite moment though? No, it wasn't. My favourite moment at Adelaide United would be my first goal against Melbourne Victory. Mine would be... Selfish. Selfish. Mine would be my first home game, which was also my first clean sheet for Adelaide against Sydney FC. Riley, <laughs> do you love Harry Suter or George Blackwood more? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Is this from a fan? Someone's asked this? It's definitely from George. It's from George. <laughs> yeah, George, yeah. It's George, 100%. Well, they bring their own um, set of unique dynamics to friendships. Uh, I lived with George. I, didn't, I haven't lived with Harry. But Do you reckon I'll you could? Live with Harry? Yeah. Yeah, I could, but it, they would, it would fall out probably. Yeah, I think bit. so. It would fall out a little bit. Um, George is more chilled than, than Harry. Yeah. It's a tough one. For Cassini and Riley, how is it playing with other top quality Aussies at club level? It's good. Who are you talking about, Matt? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good. Yeah, yeah. We've, so obviously, before I was the only Aussie, but it's good. Tommy Glover lives literally right next door to me, so. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Go over for dinner, our girlfriends hang out, and it's perfect. Top. You? This is exactly like me. Uh, Alex lives literally down the road from me, so we go to training every single day mm. together. I don't have a car at the moment, so he drives me everywhere. After training, we're doing whatever we're doing until we come home, go over to his house, eat dinner, watch movies, all sorts. And on the pitch and in the training ground, it's great as well, because kind of understands me a little bit better than all the other boys and can banter with him a bit and this and that. So yeah, I love it. Cool, that's anyway, a wrap. That's it.